Now we would like to use a new technique that is called the small signal equivalent circuit of the common source amplifier. We would like to replace this amplifier with an, an equivalent circuit that we will be able to analyze. This technique is the one that analog engineers use the most, and we will use it frequently throughout this course. The equivalent circuit concept is very basic. We would like to replace the transistor with its equivalent circuit so that we will be able to analyze the circuit. We will start with the triad region first. Let us assume that the transistor is operating in the triad region. As we said earlier, the transistor must be operating in the saturation region, but the designer have made a mistake and he didn't bias the transistor correctly and the transistor fell into the triad region. So we would like to find an, an equivalent circuit for this transistor in the triad region. And in the triad region, the drain to source channel behaves as a resistor. This resistor we can call it RDS. And this RDS is inversely proportional to VGS, which is the DC gate to source voltage. The value of RDS is given as follow. It is equal to 1 over Kn times W over L times VGS minus VT. Now we need to redraw the circuit by replacing the transistor with its equivalent circuit. So we come to the transistor and we replace it with its equivalent circuit and we said that this transistor behaves as a resistor from the drain to source in the triad region. So here is the drain, and from the drain to the source, we have RDS. The source is connected to ground. And here is the gate where we have VGS. And we will assume there is no leakage current at the gate, so the gate will be modeled as open circuit. At the drain, there is RD connected to the supply voltage, VDD. Our objective is to solve for the output voltage at the drain. The output voltage, which is the drain voltage, is the same voltage across RDS. Then the output voltage can be found using the voltage divider, where Vout will equal to VDS that is equal to RDS over RDS plus RD times VDD. Now keep in mind that this output voltage is a function of VGS as well because the resistance RDS is a function of VGS. So if VGS changes because you have a small signal, RDS will change and the change in RDS causes V out to change. If the input voltage swings as a function of time around this DC value, but the transistor is operating in the triad region, there will be a swing at the output, and the swing at the output will be small. So you will have a ripple voltage at the output, because RDS changes by changing VGS. So let me summarize what I said so far. We were able to analyze the circuit in the triad region, and we said in the triad region, the transistor from the drain to the source behaves as a resistance called RDS. RD and RDS become in series, and then we can find the output voltage using the current divider equation.